Game of Thrones. Gregor Forrester, Lord of Ironrath. Lord Forrester is Lord of a strong northern house and a bannerman of House Stark. As a youth he famously wrestled Galbart Glover for the privilege of becoming the man's squire. Glover later joked that he'd gladly lose the match all over again. Gregor married Elisa Branfield, a daughter of Southron Targaryen's loyalists, before Robert Baratheon seized the Iron Throne. Gregor ascended to the Lordship after his father died at the Trident and has led House Forrester during the 16 years since. Lady Elisa Forrester, Lord Forrester's wife. Elisa Forrester was born to House Branfield, a minor Southron house that was destroyed when the Targaryen dynasty fell. She had been married to Gregor for many years when Robert's rebellion signaled her family's demise yet she nonetheless felt conflicted between her father's loyalties and her husband's. In time, Elisa came to feel that Ironroth was her true home, and she embraced her role as the Forester's matriarch. She has silently sworn that she'll never see her family destroyed again. Roderick Forrester, firstborn son. Lord Forrester's eldest son, Roderick, was trained from an early age to shoulder the burdens of leadership. In truth, he was built for the role, strong, charismatic and formidable on the battlefield. When Rob Stark called his banner to war, Lord Forrester asked Roderick to stay behind and protect Ironroth, but Roderick would have none of it. Instead, he rode off at his father's side and led the Forrester cavalry with such valour that his name came to be feared amongst the ranks of Lannister soldiers. Asher Forrester, exiled second son. Asher had always been a rebellious youth, brawling in taverns, sleeping with whores and finding ways to raise his father's ire. But his life took a dark turn when at age 17 he fell in love with Gwyn Whitehill, the eldest daughter of his father's bitter rival. Bloodshed ensued and Lord Forrester faced a grim choice, go to war or exile Asher across the narrow sea. He chose the latter. Asher remains in Essos to this day, living as a sellsword trying not to think about the life he left behind. Mira Forrester, eldest daughter. Mira has always been fond of Ironroth, but Lady Forrester, wanting her eldest daughter to learn the ways of a Southron court, arranged for Mira to serve as a handmaiden to Marjorie Tyrell. To Mira's great surprise, she enjoyed attending on Marjorie at High Garden and followed her to King's Landing with enthusiasm. Life in the capital has not been easy for Mira, as her straightforward northern ways are often at odds with the subtleties of court life, but she also has more guile than she realises. Ethan Forrester, third born son. Whereas his eldest brothers were natural warriors, Ethan always found himself drawn to pursuits of the mind, particularly music and books. He also bore a great love for the towering trees of Ironroth a love he still shares with his twin sister Talia. Ethan was just a boy when House Forrester joined the War of the Five Kings, but by war's end he had been thrust into a role he was unprepared for. On cool autumn evenings, Ethan can still be heard playing his lute in the Ironwood Grove. Talia Forrester, second-born daughter. During her fourth pregnancy, Lady Forrester dreamed she would birth a daughter with a voice like summer rain, but as fate would have it, she gave birth to a boy. The infant Ethan wailed for hours until Lady Forrester entered a second labour, this time birthing a girl. She named the girl Talia after her own mother, and from then on Ethan hardly ever cried. Her dream came true, for there's no sound at Ironroth more lovely than that of Talia singing as her brother plays the lute. Ryan Forrester, fourth born son. The last of the Forrester children, Ryan grew up idolizing his elder siblings and spent many an hour chasing Ethan and Talia through the grove. His youth had been pleasant and shielded from responsibility, but recently Ryan's innocence has begun to fade. When the war began, Ryan was too young to understand why Roderick and his father were leaving home. But the grim realities of a house at war has been impossible to avoid, and Ryan now asks questions for which his siblings have no easy answer. Garrett Tuttle, Squire to Lord Forrester. 
Garrod was raised on stories of heroism about the likes of Arthur Dane and Simeon Star Eyes. Though the son of a pig farmer, he has always aspired to one day become a warrior himself. With the help of his uncle Duncan, who had risen from a low-born origin to become Castellan of Ironroth, Garrod found work in Lord Forrester's stables, rising through the ranks to eventually be named his squire. Garrod has served King Forrester throughout the long months in King Rob's army, and is ready to be a warrior in his own right. Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of Ironroth. As a boy, Duncan showed such talent for managing his family's farm that everyone assumed he'd one day take over. But Duncan was fated to run more than the fields and a pig pen. In time, he struck up an unlikely friendship with Gregor Forrester, the heir to House Forrester. The two grew close, and when Gregor became Lord, he named Duncan his Castellan. Many eyebrows were raised, but Duncan proved himself worthy and has served the house well in the long years since. Sir Roland de Gore, Ironrath's master at arms. Roland de Gore joined Lord Forrester's army after his family was wiped out by Ironborn during Balan Greyjoy's rebellion. De Gore has a natural grasp of military tactics and strategy and came to play a crucial role in the Siege of Pike that ended the war. In the months that followed, King Robert awarded Roiland a knighthood and Lord Forrester asked him to serve as Ironrath's master at arms. Sir Roiland still holds the position and is known for his military expertise as well as his legendary temper. Maester Ortengrin, Maester of Ironroth. Originating from a minor house in the Vale, Maester Ortengrin studied at the Citadel in the hope of being assigned to the Eyrie. But by the time he'd earned enough links on his chain to graduate from Acolyte, John Arryn had been murdered and the South was in turmoil. The Citadel ultimately assigned Maester Ortengrin to Ironroth, where he soon came to respect the Forester family's honour and integrity. He now serves the Foresters with pride and has become a trusted advisor to the Lord. Malcolm Branfield, Lord Forester's brother. As a young man, Malcolm was the black sheep of the Branfield family. He liked to roam the countryside in the style of a hedge knight refusing his father's offers of marriage and lands. Malcolm fought bravely alongside his brothers when House Branfield fell, yet he and his sister were the only two survivors. Malcolm now lives with Lady Elisa's new family at Ironroth, though he still tends to disappear for weeks at a stretch. Malcolm has fathered no children, thus he is the last of the Branfield line. Ironroth ancient seat of House Forester, an imposing stronghold surrounded by towering ironwood trees, Ironroth marks the ancestral home of House Forester. Built over 1500 years ago by Cedric Forester and his triplet sons, Ironroth is a testament to the strength and endurance of ironwood itself. More than one visitor has called Ironroth the most striking keep in the north. Even Ned Stark was said to be envious. Ironrath sits on the edge of the largest ironwood forest in Westeros, which has proven to be a strategic advantage for the house. For thousands of years, House Forester have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. In the darkest reaches of the Wolf's Wood, they harvest the rare ironwood trees. Now the North has been ripped apart by war and rival houses seek to claim Forrester's ironwood for themselves and the fate of House Forrester hangs in the balance. This is a fine way to rouse the troops. All together boys, sing, sing. To little dum, to little dum, to little dum. Garrod Tuttle, King squire to Lord Forrester. Brought to his knees by the men of the north. And set free by the women. You'd think he'd done it himself the way he The man's him. an oaf. 
Lord Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. You expect me to, to clean this horrible sword? Make sure it's spotless this time. Lord Forrester won't be happy with blood and brains all over it. That is some repugnant shit. Now that is a proper sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. You? You'll never have a sword like that. I say that as a friend. Don't be an arse, man. And if we're being honest, why not? You don't give swords like that to pig farmers. Pig farming is a noble art. A hand in what? Capturing him! He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk he barely made it out of his tent. Next he'll tell us he got Tyrion too. As I said, the Sorry. man's an elf. Someone caught him, I suppose. That's Kenny man here and they'll say it was them. You captured the Kingslayer. Aye. Well, I don't hand it in. Aye. And round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What do I tell you? I brought him to his knees. Good for us, Lord. But not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face. You're questioning <laughs> Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's story. Which grows more far-fetched every time he tells it. Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. I don't take orders from you. It's your job. I don't take orders from you. No, but you take orders from him. You idiot, you're his squire. Now fetch him some wine. Fain Beaujolais. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Norrin's family has faithfully served House Forrester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach. And House Tully is forever in his debt. They've never seen a field plowed so well. That's the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. <laughs> Fetch your cup. Tonight we celebrate. Ah, yeah, things looking up. <laughs> to Rob Stark, the King in the North! The, the King, King in, in the, the North! North! Tomorrow, we march on Casterly Rock. And House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the young wolf's army and ride as the vanguard. The gods have favored us. Onward to Castle Rock! Oh! Death to the Lannisters! Don't forget, the North remembers. Oh! The North remembers! Oh! Got it. Yes, my lord? I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this, men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question of what's to be done with you. It's been on my mind for a while now. Something must be done. With me, my lord? You've served House Forrester well for several years now. But I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can I offer you? I only need to honor this well noble house. To bring honor to House Forrester, my lord. You have more honor than those who were born to it. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire, but as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. It's well deserved, Garrett. Your hard work has paid off. Thank you, my lord. I promise. I won't let you down. That I don't doubt. But for now, keep this between us. We're celebrating tonight. I wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Yes, my lord. Now go, and find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. Thank you. So where is Roderick? Bloody hell! Didn't he? Squire! Fetch us more wine! Get it yourself. Can you give me a hand? Come on. Can I get up to you? Uh, if you yeah, must. No problem. I have been a squire longer than you. So? I outrank you. You should help me. more wine. 
scrub my armor, clean my boots. Just my luck to end up with Norin will you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. He's a drunk, a liar, and an arrogant prick. You'd better watch your tongue, Bowen. It could be much worse. What the fuck do you know about it? Nothing is worse than Norin. See, that's where you're lucky. Low expectations. If I'd grown up covered in pig shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven oh, Kingdoms. Wonderful days. I suppose this beats pig farming. But not by much. Who doesn't love bacon? Yes, there's always bacon. Ah, pig farmers. Uh, this little piggy went to market. All I'm saying is, at this rate we'll never be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. For all I know, we could be squires for life. Uh, you could be. All in wine around a fucking wedding. Whining, whining, uh, whining. I'm sick of listening to your wine. With that attitude, you'll never be more than this. Easy for you to say. Maybe if my uncle were castled, then I'd feel different. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. How much further? It's right over there. The twins, stronghold of House Frey. The Red Wedding. Take your time. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing, Lord Walders. In a generous mood. Fucking phrase. Uh, so nice many weapons, eh? What's going on here? Something isn't right. Not that he finds a willing husband for one of these. I daughters. must get back and warn the troops. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. There's no time for this. What? What's wrong? Stunned into you. Uh, we need odd. to get back. You've had too much wine. We need to get back. Now. They're fine. They can wait. No, you don't understand. We need to go. And <laughs> take the fucking flagon already. Just get me out of here. What's wrong with him? Something the matter? Bowen, we have to go. You go if you're in such a rush. Bowen, my good man, I must warn Lord Forrester. We have to warn the others. Good luck. Bowen? <laughs> run, run faster. My good man, can we just talk this through? Oh, hell is broken loose. My lord is in peril. Yes, the shield. Grab the shield. Raise the shield. Dead is Jon Snow. Valamore Ghoulis. Like Jon Snow, I live again. Let us try this once more. This time, sir, you are mine. Much obliged you, sir. It's a doily cart. I need to crawl through here or become toast. Oh, it is then. 
Come on, my fine lad. Push, push. Like so. Oh, you go. Please not Valamor Ghoulis again. Maybe I can use you as a coat. Smell my pig farmer boot. So this is what they do with those swords. I need to get help for Sire Roderick. Yeah, how disgusting. Got it. Did you find Roderick? Well, here's the thing. Speak up, Garrett. Did you see him or not? The phrase. They they slaughtered him, my lord. I'm afraid it was the phrase. Let me rephrase that. Where's my squire? You didn't leave him, did you? Mm, I... Hmm. Speak up, It boy. was the phrase. I had to leave him. I had no other choice. Find a weapon. Quickly! It's okay, I had that under control. You fucking traitor! Go, my lord, while there's still time! Seven hells! I guess you know you're wounded. You wounded, my lord. I've suffered worse. That sounds intriguing. Guard this with your life. Return it to Ironrath, where it belongs. There's no time to... I'll be damned if I let it fall into the hands of those traitors. You have to go. Upon my honor, I will return it. I, I won't leave you, you my lord. Can, and you will. My lord, I... By the gods, you will obey me. Tell your uncle. <laughs> Tell him. The North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. The future of the house may depend on it. I swear that I will, my lord. Hey, it's those foresters! Now go. Oh, your honor, you must do this for your house. Go! Kill those uh, fucking foresters! Wait, is there a chance he may survive? <laughs> he is a great fighter, after all. We love that Maybe way. not. Oh well, time to go back home then. Eh, uh, too bad.